I went on the first field trip which went up to um, Derham, Debra Behan, Debra Behan <laughs> which is 3000 meters above sea level. So it was a very interesting one. We spent about six hours looking at different farming systems there. And a big takeaway for me, two big takeaways actually. One was that uh, we had different people from different continents looking at the same farming system. And everybody took back, I mean, depending on which lenses they wore to see the system, you found that they had a different approach or they saw things differently. So people from South America, for example, saw the land degraded. I saw land that had just been freshly harvested and was being ploughed by cattle very similar to what we see in India. And I didn't look at the land as necessarily being degraded, but, you know, as something work in progress. And then there were others who saw it as, you know, in different ways. So that was one of the takeaways that depending on where you come from, your discipline, the, what you see, you see different things. And the other thing which I saw is a lot of animals being used for traction. The, the animals used for traction in Ethiopia, whether horses, donkeys or cattle uh, used for uh, ploughing. And uh, I wanted to see if some kind of work could be done. There was a lot of talk about livestock delivery inputs in terms of milk, meat, pasture, legumes, this, that, but not really. They said the farmers hadn't adopted the improved ploughs. What is your takeaway for your work, the added value of the meeting as such on the field trip? The takeaway is uh, partly that I meet so many people from different continents and countries that livestock is not just one, somebody in the morning said, like a, a fixed farm in Europe which has a very standard way of uh, functioning. It is many, many different systems from large ranches to small fields with from, you know, flatlands to difficult terrains up at 3000 meters. So you need several, several perspectives to address issues globally.